start by pushing the saute button because I need to cook my meat. Now if you already have pre-cooked meat, that's going to make this go by even faster. So right now because it's sauteing, I put my meat in and I have this little chop stir. I will put a link in the description for you because this is my favorite tool in the kitchen. Well, other than the Instant Pot of course. So I'm just going to brown my meat just right inside of my Instant Pot. Now once it's almost all the way cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add one whole onion and then mix that all together just so the onion can brown a little bit while the meat finishes up cooking. Now I'm going to leave that there for just a little bit and stir every few minutes, but while that's finishing cooking, I'm going to chop up one zucchini, two stalks of celery, and then pour those into my Instant Pot with my meat and my onions. Now I also chopped up two cups of small potatoes and about two cups of carrots. On top of that, you're going to add about one teaspoon of chopped up cloves. Um, you can use whole cloves if you want to. Then you're going to add one can of diced tomatoes. Now I'm putting those in now because my saute button is still on and I need some liquid on the bottom of my pan. All right, I'm going to just mix these up a little bit and then continue adding more things. All right, so right now I'm going to add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and three cups of tomato juice. Next, you're going to add one can of dark red kidney beans. Now these I had rinsed and drained so they're ready to go. And then one can of cannellini beans, the white cannellini beans rinsed and drained also. All right, then you have one can rinsed and drained of green beans. Now as you can see, my pot is getting really, really full, so just be careful as you're stirring. Now you're going to add one cup of the little tiny minestrone noodles. These are my most favorite and my kids love them. You can add different noodles if you want to, it's totally up to you. So you're just adding one cup and then I'm going to add about a cup and a half to two cups of beef broth. Now I don't want to add too much more because it's going to overfill. So put your lid on, make sure your knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Now you're going to cancel what you have going, so you're going to cancel the saute button, then you're going to push pressure cook or manual. Now you're going to go up to six minutes. That's going to cook your noodles and your vegetables, everything else. When it's done, I let it release on its own for about 10 minutes or so. You can do a quick release as soon as it's done, but I was running some errands real fast. All right, now we're going to open the lid and see how it is. Oh, it is perfect. The noodles are done perfectly. Everything is cooked all the way through. Now here is the hard part. You have to mix very, very carefully. Now if you have an eight quart, this recipe is perfect for an eight quart, but a six quart will still work. All right, I need some more liquid in there, so I'm actually gonna add about one to two cups more of beef broth into my soup. Now if you noticed, I didn't add a lot of salt and pepper. Um, you can add that sparingly, or you could put it on your table and they can add it to their own bowl of soup. Now I like to serve this recipe with breadsticks and salad on the side. It's